Okay, this is just a little quick explanation about modeling with exponential and logarithmic functions. Basically, modeling means word problems. But it seems like you all get pretty good with this formula. You know, we call it PERT. You see the P, E to the RT. Now, this is continuously compounded interest. But for some reason, y'all remember PERT. But y'all get to exponential and logarithmic functions, and you get scared. Let's look at this PERT formula a little bit more. A. A was the amount of money that we would end up with after we put it in the bank, let it sit there for a while, get interest compounded on it continuously. It was our ending amount. P. P was our, was our starting amount, the principal. How much money are we going to put into the bank? And then, of course, you still see the E, and E was raised to the rate times the time. We still have the time here. How long are we going to wait to see what happens? The constant, now, of course, that was our rate, but this constant, when we talk about logarithmic and exponential functions, a lot of times we'll call it K. Some people call it B, but it just lets us know how something is either growing exponentially or decaying exponentially. But this has basically the same foundation as our PERT formula. So the ending amount is equal to how much you're starting with times E to some constant or rate times the time. Let's look at a few of these formulas. I have exponential growth doubling time. How long will it take something to double in size? The second one, I have radioactive decay. Instead of doubling, I want to know its half-life. If I have 100 grams of something, how long will it take to get to 50 grams? Half of it, the half-life. Look at these formulas. Sometimes we call this n naught or m naught. Basically, it's the amount of material we have at the beginning, just like our principal, how much money are we putting in the bank. So n naught, m naught, how much do we have in the beginning? Now, in this exponential growth or radioactive decay, instead of E, for this particular formula, they're using 2. And look, the doubling time is positive. The half-life is negative. The amount of material is decreasing. When it's doubling, it's increasing. Now, these are very specific formulas for doubling time or finding the half-life. But we can still use other formulas and get the same answer. Let's look at a few other formulas. So exponential growth, n at t, the amount of something you're going to have at the end, is going to equal n naught, which is the amount you're starting with, times e to the rt. But once again, this r is some rate of growth, or sometimes we call it k, some people call it b, radioactive decay. Very similar formula, m naught, how much do I have at the beginning? The only difference is, notice this, this r is positive and the decay is negative. And uh, sometimes we refer to this R as being the natural log of 2 over H. Modeling with exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, so these problems should not be as scary as they seem. You know the general formula for all of these. Plug in the info you know, and then solve the equation. Yes, we have an E there, so most likely, we will be having to take the natural log of both sides to solve it. But these are the perfect problems to really show you that mathematics is all around you.